Welcome to River City Live, and I guess happy Monday. I don't know, I'm just going to throw it out there and see what happens. You know what? It is Monday. We're going to meet somebody during our show today that's going to prove to you that every day when you wake up and you're there, it's a good day. Really? I could have yes. used that about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, no. Well, just get ready. You're <laughs> prepared to be inspired. Yeah, rolling out of the bed this morning was not a party, but I'm good now. I'm ready. One day. Speaking of party, we have pictures of the party that you had in just a little bit. But before we do that, let's just talk about the Jags. And uh, uh, next. Okay. But, well, in positive news, they secured second place. A tie <laughs> at second place. So there's a, a non-winning record, but... There's still something to build upon there. Okay, there's, there is something to build. Yes, it's always a building year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a building yeah. year. It was a rough game. It was, I mean, you know, Bortles got benched and people got knocked out cold and it was just ugly all There around. was something positive. It was really nice outside. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so everybody outside. who did go to the game, it was nice and, out. And, and I'm going to say something that's going to be controversial, but here I go. All right, all right. Do it. So when we were having... Uh, such a great season last year and at the beginning of this season and my husband and my son who have gone to every game through the time that we were never winning I said nobody deserves this more than they do to enjoy this so if when we get back on track and we start winning again you want to be that person that truly deserves to enjoy it you got to stick with the Jags now during the low spots which means come out to sneakers tonight and support the Mark Brunell show it's going to be a rough time because we're going to talk about some things that aren't so fun. But if but you are that diehard Jags fan and you want to glory in the wins, you got to come out and suck it up when we lose. But I think that's the good shows for Mark Brunel. They're all good, right? But when yeah. there's bad things that happen on the field, that's when you want to listen to someone like him on how to fix it. Mm -hmm. And then the other yeah. part of it to you, they still have a good team. There's a lot of parody in the NFL. They talk about it all the time. Bad teams beat good teams. Sometimes good teams don't show up. But the talent is there. There's still a lot of season left, so we'll see what happens. The injuries are starting to pile up. Let's be real. So Across the NFL, a, though. Yeah, like but everybody. I mean, for the Jags, they're starting to feel that pinch. And, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. But, I mean, what is this? So, three and four, that means there's nine more games, if my math is correct. So, there's a chance, people. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But, again, if we get to where we want to be and you don't want to be called a bandwagoner, stick with them right now because now's your chance to really show that you're still in it. See what there I did go. there? Oh, that got so powerful. I, I tried to shame everyone into showing up tonight for the Mark Canale <laughs> show. I'm, very, uh, I'm touched. Are you? Good. I'm a little overclimped. <laughs> so maybe Good. onto something a little bit more brighter, right? Yes. Yes. And that yes. is Ranch. Your party over the weekend. Yeah, we had a great weekend, a little Halloween birthday bash, and we had the RCL fam, that's me and the missus, a little Kurt Cobain, and uh, she changed her mind. She was supposed to be Courtney Love, but she's Angela Chase from My So-Called Life. Uh, there we go, George Michael <laughs> and Olivia John, Newton John circuit. Let's get physical. Because well, part of the invite was, you know, pick a decade. So we had 80s and you had 90s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, who is that? Is that Freddie Mercury? <laughs> That's our executive producer, Justin, as Freddie Mercury, and our producer, Abigail, as the, the, a witch. She, she was, was a, a witch. witch. But let me tell you something, and I said this to her because I've seen her actually perform in, in musical theater. She walked in and stole the show. I yeah. mean, this wig was enormous. And there we are. <laughs> we got and red food Ryan. in the back. Red food. Yeah, Ryan is Party in there, too. Party in the house tonight. We yeah. had a lot. And then, uh, so there they are. I think uh, we've got some pictures. Uh, one of a uh, friend of the show. Oh, there's the Mrs. Peyton. Yeah, in the middle there as a hippie. She's like, you know what? I want something really like just like laid back and easy to do. So she totally captured that being laid back <laughs> and easy to do. Who handed me that beer for that picture? That's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, oh, Jessica Morgan is Paula Dean. That was a great costume. Yeah, that was one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, yeah. And then there's her and her husband. Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. He gifted Fieri. me with the Paula Dean book and a Guy Fieri frying pan. Nice. And there's yeah. Chef Tony and his wife. And then who was Chef Tony? Who did he? I forgot he was a himself. Farm. No, he, he, <laughs> he, was was a, a he was trying to be ironic. He was a farm to table chef. Oh, oh that's oh, what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And his yeah. wife, Allison. And then the, there's Mr. Kendall and my friend Marcy's husband, Mike. And uh, Mr. Kendall trots that same costume out for everything. <laughs> it's, it's from the movie Semi-Pro. He's Jackie Moon. Nobody gets it, but he wears it every oh, I year. I get it. That's a classic, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, you know, it's kind of funny. So before we were leaving for the party, you know, I had the blonde tips of my hair and the fake earring and all that stuff. And I'm trying to give our babysitter <laughs> instructions on what to do. I'm like, no, we want the kids in bed by 10 o'clock and, you know, help yourself to food. And she, the whole time, she's got like a smirk, like, oh, she can't just take this serious. I'm putting on the leather jacket, strapping on the guitar. We're like, 
Call if you need anything. It's <laughs> a really weird scene altogether. There were some good costumes. I gotta give. I oh, gotta give that. A lot of we fun. didn't see it, but Colonel Sanders and his wife was oh, a chicken. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah, that was great. Yeah, it was a good Grant's time. Grant's probably had a conversation with her for how long before you knew she was a chicken? Yeah, it was like 30 minutes before I finally. I was like, Oh, you're a chicken, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. he was Colonel Sanders, and it, I was like, What is all this red stuff on your face? So yeah, I'm not that smart. It, a it's lot obvious. of feathers for someone who wasn't a but, chicken. But you know, you don't have to be smart if you want to win the lottery. Just have to be lucky. So the, what is it? The Powerball Mega Millions is up to $1.6 billion if you buy in. Today, it's probably going to go up a little bit more. And then the Mega Millions, uh, that drawing is Wednesday, is $354 million right now. Uh, and, or I'm sorry, Powerball is $354. So, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, Going to be out after the end of this week. I'm sorry. People. Yeah. So, well, Powerball is 620 million, but if you do the upfront, it's 350 after taxes. Oh, after taxes. So, yeah. So you know they always tell point. you the whole thing, like, oh, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning, or you have a better chance of being bitten by a shark. Now they're saying you have a better chance of those things happening simultaneously, like being bitten by a shark while lightning comes out of the sky and hits. I you. will take those odds. <laughs> they always say paying taxes, paying taxes. I'm just saying, if you want that much money, catch me. You know what I mean? If I won $1.6 billion, I'm in some type of flying machine doing something where I'm like, you know, you're gonna moving. Beat, you're going to beat them to the moon or to Mars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What would you buy the one thing, if you had to spend money on one thing, can't be charity, can't be for somebody else, because we know you're going to cover all those kinds of things, but what's the luxury item? Oh, I, I talk about this all the time. I want a fake house in front of my house so the fake house would look nice and be clean because my kids couldn't ah, mess it up. Smart. So when people come to the door, I just run to that one and be like, wow, this is amazing. I'm like, yep. And then <laughs> all the real ones <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah, that's no, no, a no, good I, one. I already have uh, this, yeah. I'd probably have to get a PJ, just get a private jet. I'm not going to lie. Hey. I, I, I'm, you know, or I'd buy, like, the ultimate first-class tickets. But you got that kind of loot? Somebody oh, else flying yeah, me. Yeah, what are you eating? Private chef. Private uh, chef. Uh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, 100%. I don't care where I live. I don't care any of the other stuff. But I would like somebody to prepare my meals and hand them to me, like, when I'm going out the door. Put dinner on the table from the family. That I could totally see that, like a really fancy chef, and it's like, here is your peanut, peanut butter, butter on the spoon, <laughs> madam. And like, thank you. It just make, because you know me and my grubby eating style, which has gotten a little better, it just make, would make eating healthier so much. It's like, whatever he makes, it's going to be good. Oh, totally, you know? yeah. So I'd be down for that. I'm with you on see that. The, the pros of having a private chef. And you know what's interesting? At $1.6 billion, everything we named would be so easy to do. You can have a <laughs> ton nothing. of money left over. You can have them all. Yeah. 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 Things. yeah. So oh, there's well. a few things you're not supposed to do if you win the lottery. First, you got to forget. You can't forget to sign the ticket or report it to the state. Don't tell everybody you know. Mark, don't tell them. No, I know, but isn't that something that happens? <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to tell a couple people, and before you know it, everybody knows. Yeah, and then they're hitting you up, but we'll get into that some other time. So. <laughs>